Good morning to you. Morning, everybody. Everybody knows that the chefs and growing number of restaurants that are taking Chinook salmon off the menu to try to preserve the fish and save the orcas have their heart in the right place. But the question is whether it's the best approach. We're now hearing from commercial fishermen like Pete Knutson, who point out that the vast majority of Chinook salmon served to restaurant customers are harvested from areas after they've passed through the waters where the orcas feed anyway. Knutson has fished salmon for 45 years. He's the commissioner of the Puget Sound Salmon Commission and says a blanket boycott of Chinook is like taking a sledgehammer to a very complex issue that only hurts commercial fishermen. By and large, Puget Sound fishermen are the best conservationists and the better option for restaurants, he says, is to keep Chinook on the menu, but educate customers about where the fish was caught, by whom, so the industry can be regulated by consumers. We are a constituency that's going to be fighting for the resource, and the public needs to ally with those of us who live from the resource because we have a common interest in preserving the ecosystem. NOAA, the federal agency trying to save the orcas, is also now weighing in, saying seafood consumers can rest assured that when you buy U.S. harvested salmon, they're managed sustainably with careful consideration of the impacts to endangered and threatened species like the orcas, which are most definitely threatened right now. It goes on to say fishermen in the Pacific Northwest and across the nation are among the greatest advocates for salmon protection and recovery. We need them to continue to support healthy runs and to fish in ways that protect the threatened and endangered salmon stocks we all want to see recovered. Now we reached out to chefs like Renee Erickson in Seattle. She owns five restaurants and says they've decided to take Chinook off the menu until waters are plentiful and the ecosystem is safe. They call it a small attempt to make a difference and raise awareness, which they're definitely doing. A spokesperson says they're not trying to hurt commercial fishing, but for now they'll only buy pink and coho salmon. Mm. Back to you.